And here, this thing looks kind of almost like a polypoid seborrheic keratosis. But when we go closer, ooh, very blue basaloid, atypical cells, lots of mitoses in here. And this is in the genitals. So this looks like a condyloma almost, but it's got full thickness atypia. It's got some areas that look like they might be coilocytes. And if you did a high risk HPV, oh look, there's like X marks the spot. There's two or three X mitoses right here, way up near the granular layer. So the, this could be a condyloma with a high, um, high grade squamous intraepithelial lesion, HSIL, which is basically like high grade dysplasia or squamous cell carcinoma in situ. To me, those terms are all synonymous in the anogenital genital area and it's driven by high risk HPV. But I, we call it HSIL because sometimes it uh, doesn't clinically fit for squame and it's actually multiple lesions that are pigmented and fit better clinically for boanoid papulosis, which is actually what this is labeled as, is boanoid papulosis. But so there's no way to totally tell without the clinical. In any case, so it's high grade dysplasia driven by high risk HPV. So um, if I saw this, I would actually call it condyloma probably because of its polypoid shape. I'd say this is condyloma with HSIL, high grade squamous intraepithelial lesion. And when I'm signing reports for dermatologists, I add a comment to explain because not everyone's familiar with that terminology. It's GYN pathology term. I said this is the term that is for high grade uh, dysplasia that's HPV driven in the anogenital region. It encompasses bone papulosis and squamous site, uh, cell carcinoma in situ.